3, Ellie intends to paste the wallpaper by using a collage technique. The diagram on the right shows triangle ABC. So we have ABC, which is made up of two types of colored paper. The point D is on AC. So we have D is on AC, where AD is 7 cm. So it's written here AD is 7 cm, DC is 8 cm, BC, okay, this one BC is 10 cm. ACB is 90 degree. Okay. So, every value here is written on the triangle. To avoid wastage, Ellie needs to get the accurate size of the colored papers. Okay. Need to get the accurate size. Find the value of each of the following. Okay. So, A, tangent, alpha plus beta is equal to. So, we know that using trigo, we must use so, cha, toa, right? This is the formula, just remember, so, cha, toa. O is the opposite. A is the adjacent and H is the hypotenuse. You know hypotenuse? So, i just show you how to use the formula. So, this one is the theta, right? So, we know that this one, we... This side is what we call as opposite. And right here is adjacent and the longest part, of course, is the hypotenuse. So, so means sine is equal to, sine theta is equal to O divided by H. This is how we use the formula. Cos is equal to A divided by H and so on. So, now we are talking about tangent alpha plus beta. So, tangent alpha plus beta you see is here. So, this is a triangle. And this is our alpha plus beta. So this is the triangle that we are talking about, right? So tangent is equal to O divided by A. O is opposite. So if this one is the theta that we are talking about, opposite is A to C, right? Is A C, A C divided by A adjacent is right here, not the hypotenuse, which is equal to this one is C B, right? So, we know that AC is equal to 7 plus 8 and CB is equal to 10. So, here we get 15 over 10 and you can make it smaller, divide by 5, you get 3 over 2. So, B, we wanted tan tangent alpha. So, we need to know where is our triangle. So, tangent alpha is here. So, this is our triangle and the triangle must be 90 degree. So, this is a triangle that we are talking about. So, we know that tangent is O divided by A again. So, from the triangle that we made, opposite of the angle is here, which is DC, right? Which is also equal to 8. And A is adjacent, which is CB which is equal to 10. So, you can make it smaller, divide by 2, right? 4 over 5. Okay. This one just now is 3 over 2, and this one is 4 over 5. You can also change it to point as well. It's still the same. Okay. <coughs> so C tangent beta so we see here tangent beta is here to use trigo so the main rule is that you need to have a 90 degree angle so this one there is no 90 degree angle right but then you have tangent alpha plus beta which is equal to 3 over 2 and you also have tangent alpha which is equal to 4 over 5 so you can use the formula to find what is your tangent beta. So, we know that tangent alpha plus beta is equal to tangent alpha plus tangent beta divided by 1 minus tangent alpha tangent beta. So, from now on, you just substitute. So, tangent alpha is equal to 4 over 5. So, I just make it into point. It will be easier to substitute plus tangent beta divided by 1 minus tangent alpha 0 0.8 tangent beta we don't know so we just put it tangent beta 
and this one is equal to 1.5 3 over 2 is equal to 1.5 this one is 0 0.8 So here multiply with this side. So here we, we get 1.5 times 1, we get 1.5. 1.5 times negative 8, we get 1.5 times negative 0 0.8. Negative 1.2. So this one is negative 1.2 tangent beta is equal to 0 0.8 plus tangent beta. So we bring tangent beta at one side because this one is negative. We bring it to the right. So tangent plus 1.2 tangent is actually 1 tangent right. So 1 plus 1.2 is 2.2 tangent beta is equal to. So 0 0.8 we bring it to the left. So 1.5 minus 0 0.8 we get 0 0.7. So here, tangent beta is equal to 0 0.7 divided by 2.2, right? Which is equal to 0 0.3182. So this one, 0 0.3182. So then state the value of alpha... So, alpha, beta, angle B, A, C, angle A, D, B, and angle B, D, C. And the length of B, D, and then A, B, O, you wanted everything. Okay, so which one? So, for alpha, we know that tangent A is equal to 4 over 5. So, you might just write this one. So, so, alpha is equal to tangent inverse 4 over 5. So, here we are going to get 38.66 degree, right? And then beta, we know that tangent beta is equal to 0 0.3182. Beta is equal to tangent inverse 0 0.3182. So, here we are going to get 17.65 degree. Okay, this one is done, this one is done. So now angle BAC, where is BAC? So BAC is here, right? So here BAC is here. So we know that 180 degree minus alpha plus beta minus 90 degree is equal to angle BAC. So 180 minus alpha plus beta 38.66 plus 17.65. Minus 90. So here we get BAC is equal to 33.69 degree. So this one is 33.69 degree. So now angle ADB, so where is ADB? ADB is here. So we know that triangle is 180, right? Which is equal to 180 degree minus this angle is 33.69 degree minus beta. So beta just now, so just right here. Alpha is equal to 38.66 and beta is equal to, why do I just write it here, right? This one is 38.66 and beta is equal to 17.65 degree right so adb is 180 minus 33.69 minus 17.65 so here we get one two eight point six six degree okay adb is done so angle bdc is equal to so BDC, so BDC is here, so we know that triangle is 90 degree, right? So 180 minus 90 degree minus alpha, alpha is equal to 38.66. So BDC, we are going to get 51.34 degree. This one, you see here, this one is obviously this one plus this one is 90 degree. You can directly put 90 degree minus this one. You will also get 51.34 degree. Okay, now we are done with the angle. So now we wanted to find BD. Okay, so we did BD. 
so at right so we see here BD so this is our triangle so this is our BD you see here the triangle I just take out so this one is DB and we know this is 10 cm and we know this is 8 cm so just use Pythagoras theorem so db is equal to 8 square plus 10 square where db is equal to 8 square plus 10 square so we are going to get 12.81 cm so now ab ab is the long one you see here this one is ab where this one is See this one is AB, the last one here. Okay, this one is AC. AC is seven plus eight, which is fifteen, and CB is ten, right? So this one is the hypotenuse because we have ninety degree here. So AB is equal to third fifteen square plus ten square. So here we are going to get eighteen point zero three cm.